Hello YouTube, BMG Boy here with another video. So, um, what I need to do now is order food. And we're going to eat the canned food first, and save the hot dogs for later. And then we're going to drink the soda. And there's a few things I want to get done in this video. And one of them is painting the hood. Now if you saw last video, I said the hood was going to be yellow. I did do a few things off camera. Like, I took some of the pieces of, the old pieces of the truck and brought them over to the part shop and put them near the garbage area to clean out the, my garage a bit better. And also off camera, I got gas. And, um, new spark plugs. And also, I need to go get a new engine head cover. I grabbed the wrong wrench. And we're just going to put the hood on the ground, grab the yellow paint, Now we're going to put the hood back on. And then we're going to put some of the stuff that's lying on the floor in the truck and take it to the part shop. And buy a new engine head cover. We're probably going to take the bumper by itself since it's so large. And the reason why I am recording this so late is because... I was over at my grandma's celebrating Hanukkah. And with that, happy holidays, guys. If you don't celebrate Hanukkah and you celebrate Christmas or whatever 
holidays you celebrate. Happy holidays. Put the old C in here. And the old gauges. Actually, we're going to keep this spark plug since it looks like it's hasn't been used and I think we're ready wait hold on I need to put this in a better area there we go and I'll also probably get a new steering wheel as well and also probably get another seat for the truck gonna get it's gonna be a pain in the butt to um get turned around If you're wondering how to get money in the game, there are two ways to get it. One of the ways is um, watching a commercial, and watching a commercial will get you a hundred dollars. And there's also oh, the other way to make money, which is going over to a warehouse that's on the map and doing some jobs. If you weren't here last video and didn't hear this, I don't talk a lot while I'm driving. And that is because, um, because I'm trying to pay attention on the road so I don't fly off the road and into a ditch. Because if you fly into a big enough ditch, you'll get stuck. And I don't want that happening. Uh, while I'm recording.
Okay, now that we're on road, I'm going to switch to third gear. And also, uh, we're at the part shop, I might also stock, stock up on antifreeze and brake fluid. I'll probably get eight containers of each. We are almost at the part shop. And now we're going to slow down so I don't overshoot the turn. Okay, now that we're here, I'm going to turn off the engine and turn on the parking brake. Now we're just going to drop everything that we brought over in the garbage area. I probably should have taken the paint cans out before I opened the tailgate because um, they're gonna fall over in the bed of the truck no matter what you do and if they fall over in a way where they can roll out once you open the tailgate they ro will roll out and continue rolling which is quite annoying At least this time, I got lucky. And they fell in a way where they are not going to roll away. Oh my goodness. Okay, now that we have everything, out of the bed of the truck, I'm going to close the tailgate. So I'm going to buy a new engine head cover.
and then I'm gonna buy a seat. And then I'm gonna buy a new steering wheel. And then, you know what, I'll buy those later. I'm gonna move everything else that I bought into the bed of my truck. Okay, it fell over. I'm not worried about it, though. Okay, now I'm going to buy eight cans of antifreeze. And now I'm going to move the eight cans to the bed of the truck. That looks like more than eight, but I'll count. And also, um, since Christmas is so close, I'll probably do more videos that you guys can watch because Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I won't record videos because I'll be too busy. And also, not only is Christmas this month, but my birthday is also this month. It's on the 29th of this month. So after I move the rest of these antifreezes into the bed of the truck, I'll buy brake fluid. If you're wondering what would happen if you didn't put antifreeze in, is um, your the truck would overheat. And I don't know if, know if the engine would overheat to the point of not working anymore. Because I haven't had that happen yet. And um, if you don't put in brake fluid, then you're not going to have any brakes. And in fact, I need to 
check to see how much brake fluid I have. Okay, I'm going to need to buy a new distributor. Okay, might buy nine cans of brake fluid. So I can fill it up up and still have eight left over to take home. We're going to use this one to fill up on brake fluid before we run out. Now we should have plenty of brake fluid. But I can't tell where it's at right now. Because it's too dark. So now the rest of the brake fluid is going to go into the bed of the truck. <sighs> this is going to take a little while. So in this video, I probably won't drive home. I'll probably get the rest of these brake fluids into the bed of the truck, and then the video would end there. And then, uh, next video... I would drive home. And then put all these on the shelf. In the garage. And also probably take the bumper here as well. And also while we're here I'll also buy a distributor and put that in the bed. And then um... In the next video, I'll also probably um, do some w warehouse jobs. Okay, finally, I have one more brake fluid left to put in the bed of the truck. So now I'm going to buy a, a distributor and put that in the bed of the truck. And then after that, the video will end. So, until next time, this has been Beeman G Boy. Please consider liking 
and subscribe ring, and ring that bell to get notified when new videos come out. And maybe leave a comment down in the comment section of what colors you'd like to see me paint the truck. Like, what different colors you want to have me paint it. So...